What is up YouTube? It's Brandon from Tattooing 101 and today what we're going to break down is how to draw a snake. I get asked all the time how I draw my snakes because it can be super hard to kind of get the idea of how to draw them but if you know a couple of tricks it'll make it way way easier on you. And if you're new to this channel make sure you like and subscribe down below so you can keep up to date on the content we make for you guys each week. Okay, so there's a couple different ways you could set up to do a snake. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit easier on an iPad just because there's way more tools out there to help you along your way with tattooing. Just like having the scale set is going to help you be able to make a perfect, you know, snake design. No matter which way you want to go with it, you know, be able to create a snake in this manner. Another thing is you could change around and kind of see exactly how you want to set up your snakes with that. There's also one specifically made for pressure sensitive. So if you want to, you know, start out your snake and just have it go around and then have the tail, you just press a little bit harder and it makes that tail. So it makes it really easy to be able to create snakes on an iPad just like that. Now, if for some reason you don't have these brushes, there's a couple other ways you could do it, but these brushes just make things easy. I'll show you a few of them. That one works really well. And also if you want more of like a traditional style, this one works really well to do that. But if you don't have that readily available, if you're working with, you know, pencil and paper, I recommend that you start out, you know, as your red, and then you could just do however you want your snake to kind of flow this way and then you do lines on either side just keeping it consistent the whole way through to create you know the long snake obviously having the appropriate brush is going to make things a whole lot easier for a starting out perspective the best way to do a snake would be just focus on the head that's going to be the easiest way for you to learn so that's what we're going to do on this one is focus on how to do a body into a skin rib because that's a really great thing. Snakes are a little bit tricky because you need a really big part of the body in order to be able to draw them correctly and have them flow with the body as well. So with a head, you could pretty much fit it in wherever on the body and it just works really well. It looks like a really great traditional style tattoo. So that's what we're going to get into right now. As always, we start out with our shapes. So we're going to start out with our shape for the head right here and then we're just going to do a line coming off the back part right here down and around scale it down a little bit and for this I'm just going to show you how you could use the snake brushes for this style of design even if it is more of a traditional we could go through here and just use this brush right like that and what that's going to do is just give us an idea of how thick everything needs to be. Now we could pretty much scale this down and start another layer. So that just helped get a basic idea of how we want our shapes and everything to be. Just to make life a whole lot easier. Or you could just go through here and obviously do lines as well. But this is just for a learning perspective. This just makes things a whole lot easier. And then we'll add our skin rip right here. Right like that. So our head's gonna be right here. And in this step, we're just getting our perspectives in order. So knowing how thick, we obviously want it to be a little bit thinner right here. The belly's gonna open up right about here when it's turning. And this is gonna be the underbelly of the snake and then the outside. So it's gonna go thin to thick right here. And then obviously if we had the full snake, it would go thin again near the tail. So how I like to start my heads, I'm just going off this line starting out right here and for a traditional snake just coming to a point right like that. And then coming down. So this shape right here, you could already see the snake take its shape right like this. Just with a few simple shapes like this, we're going to have the eye about right here and then we could just come down and finish it like that. I like to have the nose kind of come up to a point, kind of like a pit viper. Um, it just looks really good with the design. So this is how we're going to set it up. 
And there's tons of different ways to draw a snake, you know, be it traditional, neo-traditional. Um, so this is more of a traditional design. Neo-traditional, you know, you could kind of have your way with it and, you know, create some cool styles um, and more flow involved. But, you know, if you're first starting out, traditional's the way to go. Okay, have the eye right here. In this step, we have pretty much our basics down. And we can start on our different shapes in the body as well, along with the tongue. So we're just going to do a little traditional steak tongue right here. Now, if was, we were doing like neo-traditional, you know, you could get really crazy with the tongues and have them, you know, really drawn out and have some flow to them, you know. You could really use your artistic freedom when it comes to like the tongues, you know, you could have it come out like this, turn back around and then kind of come out like this and just really crazy and it looks really cool. But, you know, with the traditional design, we're just kind of sticking pretty simple. You don't want to go too crazy with it or it'll turn it into a completely different style. You could see them. Going back and kind of changing the direction of it, I don't want it to kind of go up. I want it to go kind of in a flowing manner from down to up to down to up again, right like that. So I changed that around a little bit just to make it a little bit more visually appealing with the design, right like that. Then obviously a snake would not be a snake without its fangs. Of course, it being, you know, a viper or something like that, there's snakes without the poisonous fangs, but you know what I'm saying. From a tattooing standpoint, they just look better with teeth. Now sometimes I'll put teeth on the bottom, sometimes I won't. For this design you can see that it probably looks better without the double teeth. Now with a neo-traditional design I'd probably put the other teeth in there. Um, but for traditional, we'll just go with the teeth on top and that'll work great for you know what we're trying to do with this design. Now we could turn down the opacity, pretty much get rid of those guidelines we made. Turn down the opacity and go in with our blue. So with this one, we're going to pretty much start out with the belly because it's going to be a little bit different. These are our guidelines. And we're going to go through here and just start on the scale. So we don't want everything to line up perfectly. We want it to look like everything's overlapping. So you can see I'm starting back a little bit right here to have that scale looking effect. And nothing has to be perfect with this one. Remember, we're just going through and still mapping out everything. You could be scratchy on this kind of layer without needing everything perfect, just like, you know, I've explained in the other videos as well. You know, sometimes we'll do a circle, you know, you could do a circle for an eye right like that, or, you know, a slit, you know, it just kind of depends on the tattoo. Sometimes I'll do a circle, sometimes I'll do a slit. It really doesn't matter. I understand that slit eyes are for poisonous snakes, circle ones are not, but, you know, when it comes to like traditional style tattooing, that really, you're not kind of binded by all those levels. Obviously, if you're doing like realism or something like that, and you did a rattlesnake that was you know, circle eyes, it wouldn't make much sense, but you know, the rules don't really apply when it comes to like traditional. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is focus on the details of the snake. So we're going to do some circles right here. Um, let's see, we'll do some big circles like this. And then just keeping it consistent going up the body. A 
little bit too close on that one. So you just want to focus on the spaces that you're doing. So obviously this one, you know, keeping the distances apart, you don't want it to be, you know, too far apart in one area. It'll just look awkward. So going through here and making sure they're spaced out good and everything makes sense with the design. Cool. Now we can go through here and do the skin rip right like this. I think I'm going to go and do the skin rip a little bit more of an angle. You know, these are just little things that you could change in the middle of your design just to make it more visually appealing, depending on what part of the body you're doing it on. Um, it'll just make sense on, you know, how you have it set up. And going back, I decided to go with the original. That's the best part about working on an iPad. You could change different ideas around and, you know, kind of mess around and figure out what works best for what you have in mind. So here we go. We could get rid of that first layer and go on to our final layer. Turn down the opacity like always. Go through here with our different style pen. And this is going to be our final step to our design. So with this one, I think I'm going to turn up my size a little bit. You know, this is a traditional style design, so I want it pretty thick. That's a little bit too thick. Right there should be perfect. Yeah. I like that. And now, since we did all of the work we needed to on the first steps, we're just going through here and fixing everything up and making it look clean. Holding this down, we want all our lines to be perfect, so making sure you utilize all the things that you can that the iPad has to offer. Obviously, if you're working with pencil and paper, you don't have all these extra things that you could use, which is why so many artists are switching over to iPad because it makes things a whole lot easier. So if you're still having problems with drawing, I remember when I first started tattooing, the biggest problems that I had was just trying to figure out how to draw out of my head. You know, I had, I struggled a lot trying to figure out how to draw things for tattooing. You know, I did art pretty much my whole life. And when I transferred over to tattooing, it was just a really big transition trying to figure out how to draw for tattoo designs. And I remember just the frustration that I had going through that. So if you're having any issues like that, the best thing that you could possibly do is check out our Tattooing 101 sketchbook. Inside it has a ton of different designs that you could use to create your own drawings or even use them for inspiration to, you know, have your own drawings or even tattoo them right away. You could just print them out and just tattoo them um, and be able to practice with your tattooing skills without having to spend years and years trying to figure out how to draw. So I definitely recommend that you guys check that out as well if you are struggling with things like this. Now going on to the details in the back. Holding down so our circles are perfect. Even with these, you know, I hold them down and just make sure that everything is 100% so when we print this off to use as a stencil, it just makes things a whole lot easier. Okay, so this is our snake design and obviously if you want to add some extra to it, you know, you could add some blood drops or venom drops coming off of the fangs kind of like that. You know, traditional style tattooing, I add pretty much blood drops to every design. But let's get into one more thing for this video so we could take that away. I'm going to show you guys in this one how to shade everything in. I know a couple of you have been asking questions how I do that. So with this, I go right here to my layer, choose reference. What that does is use this layer to be able to highlight things, but I could do a different layer for my shading. This is super important because I could take away this layer and use this as my stencil and be able to still see where all my shading is. So we're using this as a reference, using our highlight tool right there. And let's go through and do all of our green first. 
So once you get the hang of this, it's super easy. I'll use one of my brushes from Dave Tevenal. Murder Weapons works really well. You know, he has some different grains that I like a lot. So recommend checking them out. He's a super cool dude as well. And then you can go through here and just pretty much fill everything in. To use that grain, I don't like to press super hard. You can see that if you do, it kind of like saturates everything, but I like to give it that grainy effect so I don't press super hard, just kind of build up tones. We're gonna add some dark green right here. This is traditional, so we don't wanna go too crazy with it. We're kind of keeping to a color scheme. So that looks great right like that. We're gonna go through here, highlight these bad boys, and let's do them in, let's go with a dark, dark green. Yeah, that looks cool. Awesome. And then on the insides and these little dots, we're just gonna do them black. With uh, traditional style tattooing, um, you know, you're gonna use a lot of greens, reds, yellows, things like that. That's what you're going to be using the most. So we'll stick to some traditional style colors. We'll do the eye, yellow, Maybe a little bit of the belly. We'll do yellow and red. Right like this. Switch over to our red. Awesome. I really like the look of that. Then we're gonna do the inside red. Also added some black. Obviously this is gonna be a tattoo, so adding that black in there is gonna show you where the shading needs to be with that. Then we'll do our tongue. Red right like that. Can't forget about the skin rip. And things are obviously going to keep white, but can't forget about the blood drops. And this is how I make and shade in a traditional style snake design. If you guys are interested in learning other drawing, make sure you leave a comment down below telling me exactly what you want me to draw next to be able to help you guys learn how to draw for tattooing. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.